Mabuhay, blessed be God forever. Good morning, Sienens. Good afternoon or good evening, Sienens. So, this video, the purpose of this video is to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to log in in your class ID or your subject ID. Next, how to open your assignment. And third is on how to upload your assignment. Okay, so first you can um now you can you may use your phone or your tablet, iPad, or laptop if you have any to log in your account. If you don't have any gadgets, you can log in using the school library's computer, computer or PC, or in the uh in the computer laboratory. Okay, now um, let's go now to turn it in. So just type here, turn, turn it in dot com. Then just click, and then you will be welcomed by this page. All right, because almost all of you don't have a turn. Uh, turn it in account yet the first thing you're gonna do is just scroll down and then we have here the uh, the text new user with a question mark and click here so just click this one afterward you will be uh, moved to this page and there is a selection, a student, teaching assistant, and instructor. Because you are a student, you need to click the student. All right. Now we have here the create a new student profile. The class ID and the class enrollment key will be provided by your instructor or your subject teacher. So this is an example of a class ID or class enrollment key. So we have here. Sample class eight. This is a sample subject or subject that I made. We have here the class ID and the enrollment key. Just copy this one and then paste it here all right then after that the the turn it in also needs your user information your first name your last name your email address just input the email address that you filled out when your instructor or your advisor uh, asked you to fill out because that's the email that your teacher uploaded in their Turnitin account. All right. So just write here the email account. Confirmation email here as well. Then in the bottom part, you need to write here your new password. So make sure that your password have a minimum of 12 characters. Include at least one number. Include upper and lower case letters. And include at least one special character. All right, you just need to put it here, enter your password, and then repeat type to type it again. Then after that, we have here a secret question, okay, that you can choose one and then write your question answer. So for easier for you to take note of your password and email and the secret question and question answer, uh, I recommend you to put it on your notebook, all right? Then after that, read the turn it in and user license agreement. Then you need to click I am not a robot. Then I agree create profile. And then directly you will be entered in the class. Okay. So if you have already your turn it in account, if you're not enrolled yet or you already opened an account, for example, you already have the account here, so you need to enroll in another class. All right. 
So we have here the student view of the Turnitin. So in the upper left, in your upper left, you can see here the all classes. Enroll in a class. What is plagiarism and situation help? So to enroll in a class again, because for example, in grade seven, there are I believe there are nine to ten subjects, right? So of course, in every subject, you will be enrolled. Now, I already enrolled in Science 7, so I will enroll again to another subject. So just click Enroll in a class. Okay. I, I forgot that I logged out again, so I'll just log in again. And this is my instruct uh, instructor view, but I will act as a student right now. All right. So again, go now to enroll in a class. Click here. Now we will use this sample key. Okay, this is the name of the subject. All right, I will use this first. 455 and the enrollment key, the enrollment key is like the password. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then submit. All right, I already en enroll now in my subject, the other subject here, the sample class eight. You can see now the class ID. The class name, which is sample class 8. The name of your instructor or subject teacher. You can see here the, the status of the class. So now it is active. The start date, which is today until 11, 11th of May 2026. All right. Now, if you want to drop your class, you just need to click this trash, ba uh, trash can, rather, trash can, um, icon and then the turn it in will say are you sure you want to drop this class okay so just click okay and then the class is gone all right now let's focus here so when your instructor or subject teacher um ex um instructed you to open your Turnitin account or enroll in a class because um, they already gave you an assignment. You just need to open this account. And then in the next page, you will see here now the assignment of your teacher. Okay. And then you will see here the assignment title. So we have your assignment sample one, assignment type, paper date we have here start date will be on 11 september 2024 the due date will be on 18th of september 2024 and you the post of the grades may be or the result will be on september 18 2024 as well now you need to open your account i open your assignment rather then you will move on to this page and then kindly click the title and you will see here the instructions or the instructions or the questions that your instructors will be posting or will be posted, all right? And then we have here the start date, the due date, the feedback release date, and the maximum points. So I gave here an example points of 100 points for these um activity or sample. Then your teacher, subject teacher, will provide you a rubric so that you can um you can see the rubrics and you can of course focus on the meet expectations. All right. Here, you can check the criteria that the subject teacher want, want the, uh, what they want to see in your paper. Close. 
All right, so we have here additional settings. So you will see here that in check, similar to reports are available immediately after submission. So you can see already the result. Next is X, resubmissions are not allowed. So make sure to read again your paper before submitting it. And then, of course, late submissions are not allowed. Okay, so now make sure to read the information before uploading your paper. So now let's upload the submission. Upload submission. Just click upload submission. Then choose file. Okay, we have here a sample size 7. For example, this is the content of my answers or my answers with us for the assignment. Now you have the option to change the submission title. It depends on your subject teacher or on what format they will use. So, for example, Ma'am Angelic um, um, stated that you need to write assignment number one underscore your last name. So, I will do that. Assignment one underscore last name. Okay. Then after that, upload and review. Okay, so we have here. So you can review. On this side, you can see the title, Assignment 1, Merkelia, the file size, 15.76. Okay, and then the word count is 410. Okay, then submit to turn it in. And then you will see here that submission complete. All right, now you can see now the submission, your submission. And your instruct instructor will be notified when you already submitted or turn in your turn in your assignment. Let's just have let's just refresh this one. And now you can see here the similarity. As you can see, the similarity is one hundred percent. It means that your work can be detected if it's if it came from an AI generator, or you copied it with other publications, um, in other internet websites. So if you just copy and paste, you will see here, this is a good example. This is a good example that it's very important. Um, this is an example that the, the teacher can see really that your paper is just copy and pasted from other resources. So make sure, my dear students, to um to write your paper prop uh properly. And of course, this platform can help you to write your own paper based on your understanding and what have you what you've learned in your classes. All right. So make sure to write it based on the instructions given to you by your subject teacher and Follow, of course, the instructions and make sure to be honest in answering your paper. I hope this um this video can help you to um to know about the Turnitin and the importance and good, the good about this platform. So that's it for today. Thank you and goodbye. If you have um additionally, if you have any questions, you may ask your subject teachers, okay? Or your computer teachers if you have any questions about this platform. That's all. Thank you and goodbye.